Okay, let's style some more content. I want to remove this little bit of area up here, and that's the margin. So in the body rule, margin, zero. Save that, and you can see the image now butts up to the edge. Let's work on our type, on our fonts. Let's go to the H1 tag. And for that one, I want change a one. There we go, change a one. Now I want that for the H2 and the H3, so I'm just going to copy and paste the entire thing and change my text to say H2 and H3. Let's change the sizes now. H1 tag, font size. and H3 and my H2 tags I want them to be red CC2020 is a nice shade of red. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so a quick reminder about how this page is going to end up. Uh, we're going to work on the backgrounds for these three columns, and we're headed towards using Flexbox to make them line up to each other. So let's just start with the background colors. Remember earlier when we gave our sections a class, and we called them all Taco Child. And that's because they're, all of the sections are going to sit inside of one article, and the article is the parent container. So let's style the children. Actually, I want to style in the order that the page runs doesn't always work out. Sometimes the code gets complex, but in this case, it'll work out fine. So this comes after the header. It's a class, starts with a period. Gosh, I think it's taco, not tacos. There we go. And I'm going to use a background color of kind of white. Well, it's white, but it has a transparency. So R, G, V, A, red, green, blue, alpha, 255, 255, 255 will get me white, and 0 0.7 will give me a transparency. If I come back to my file now, you can see the white background behind each of these um, sections, and you can see a little bit of the taco coming through. And I'm going to give it a border radius so that I can match these curved borders. Border radius, 20 pixels. Oops, did something wrong. have to make sure you get CSS absolutely correct. It's a lot pickier than HTML. There we go. I've got a little bit of a curved edge there. Now let's give it a padding so the text doesn't butt up to the edge. And I'm going to choose 5%. And by using a percentage, this will change a little bit between browsers on a desktop and between a mobile device. So we want more padding on a browser, less padding on a mobile device. And finally, I want to add space between each of these sections. Because right now they're just all blending together. So to do that, I can add a margin. Bottom. 2%. Save that. 
and now we get a little bit of space between each of our sections. A reminder, they were running together because we added a margin zero up here in the body tag. Now we kind of have a problem here. Our problem is that each of these sections runs up against the edge of the browser and that looks really bad. Let's fix that. Consider the different ways we can fix it. If I go back to my HTML, I could go into each section, I've got three of them, and I could add a margin to the outside. We already have one at the bottom, but I could start playing around with that and I could mar add margins to the outside so I could push the element away from the edge. But I have a better idea. I can add a margin to a couple of other areas also. I could add the margin to the article, then I'd only have to add it once because I've got three sections inside of it. Or I could add it to main, so it also will apply to anything else I decide to put in the main area of the document. And then I can leave footer and header and nav outside of those margins. I can set them separately. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to style main. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we've got space so that everything doesn't butt up to the edge. And because I have this header completely outside of main, it still extends the full width of the browser, which looks good. And that's what we want. Finally, let's style the footer. Let's get the background color brown. Hexadecimal color, three, zero, two, four, one, E. Give it a height, 200 pixels. Padding, 2%. Text align center. We already did the color. But we want the color of the text. D-A-C-C-A-8. Okay. I like to have everything organized, so let's tab that. If we save this, when we go back to our file, here's our footer tag. So this is what's going to be placed inside of uh, that footer element. Okay. Okay, so this is a little tall. I think I'm gonna change the height to 100 for now. And I'll probably change that down the road. And finally, I need to decide what I wanna do with the headers up here at the top. They're left aligned, left justified. Do I want to keep them flush left or do I want to change those? I kind of would like them to be centered. Because I have the information in the footer centered, I feel like it would look nice if I had the header centered. So there's different ways to do this. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back into my HTML and find those headers, here they are. So I've got these wrapped in a top text class. I'm going to style that class. And I can do this easily with text align, center, now everything inside of that div is going to be centered. Okay, so it's looking better. Reminder, I'm looking at it in a mobile first view. What we're going to do pretty soon though is we're going to make these columns sit next to each other when we look at it in a desktop browser. And we'll do that next. Okay, keep watching.